we're starting a, a new program where we're going to do a series of lessons on Fitter for Life. And you all know, of course, that Fitter for Life is a seniors exercise program. Today, we're going to work predominantly with no portable hand apparatus. So all you need is some space to move around in, a blank wall that you can work on, and a step. Now, if you don't have a step, so I've got my step here. If you don't have a step, then that's okay. You can do the same exercises without the step. All I'm seeing is a picture of me. And of course, you must have your bottle of water. That's very important. And through all the classes with seniors, really emphasize the need for them to have water so that they can hydrate when they need it. Okay? So I can see someone's name now. So we're going to start. So everybody standing up. Make sure they're all muted. Now Sorry. make sure, please, that you've all muted. We're going to turn the music on. And just while we're waiting for the music, just do a little twist around to loosen up your spine. It's very important to loosen up your back beforehand. So a little twist is good. But let's lean down to one side and down the other side and the other side and the other side. Let's do a little hula hoop movement. Three times one way and three times the other way. Okay, now start marching on the spot. And as you're marching on the spot, swing your arms. And keep those knees up, 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 up. Now, this time as they come up, I want you to tap your knee with your hand. Tap. Now on the spot, just jogging on the spot. Now you're going to kick your leg behind and see if you can kick your backside. And let me know if you can, because I want a photo. So you're going, kick, 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 kick. This is a good quad stretch. Keep it going. Four more. Jogging on the spot. And now you're going to do one, two, one, two, three. 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 And now just on the spot. Now, I want you to try this with me slowly first. So heel forward and back, other heel forward and back. Heel, back, heel, back. Now we'll go sideways. Side, in, side, in. Side, in, side, in. Now back, back, in, back, in, back, in, back, in. Now we're going to combine those. So we go heel, in, heel, in. Side, in, side, in. Back, in, back, in. Now we're going to do eight. Ready? And one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now six. One, two, three, four, five, six, side. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, back, one, two, three, four, five, six, four, one, two, three, four, slide, one, two, three, four, back, one, two, three, four, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, again, one, two, one, two, one, two, on the spot. Now we're going to do step together, step tap, step together, step tap. Ready? And step together, step tap, step together, step tap. Step together, step tap, step together, step tap. Now let's try and add our arms to that. So we'll go step together, step tap, step together, step tap, step together, step tap, together, step tap. Step together, step tap, step together, step tap, step together, step tap, step together, step tap. Two more step tap, last one, step tap. Now, feet apart, and we're going to do squats. And you go, and when you do your squat, make sure that you stick your backside out. So we're going down towards the floor and bringing our hands to our hips. Then down towards the floor and hands to shoulders. And then down towards the floor and hands up. So down, hip, down, shoulder. Down, up, down, hip, down, shoulder, down, up, down, hip, down, shoulder, down, up, down, hip, down, shoulder, down, up, down, hip, down, shoulder. Down, up, down, hip, down, shoulder, down, up. Last one, down, hip, down, shoulder, down, up. On the spot. Now we're going to walk forward for three and back for three. So we're doing, we're going to put it back so you can see my feet. So we're doing one, two, three, heel, back, two, three, toe. One, two, three, heel, back, two, three, toe. Coming with me and one, two, three, heel, back, two, three, toe. 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 Two more to go, heel, back, two, three, toe. One, two, three, heel, back, two, three, toe. Now you have to start with the other foot. So when you do your one, two, three, it's the opposite heel. Back, two, three, toe. Think about it. Ready, and one, two, three, opposite heel, back, two, three, toe. One, two, three, 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 heel, back, two, three, toe. Last one. Heel, back, two, three, toe. Very good. Feet apart. And we're just going to bend from one side to the other side. So bend, bend, bend. Now we need to bring our hands in. So we're going to take the hand to the knee, to the knee, to the knee. If you're very flexible, some of you might be, you might be able to go down lower. But for seniors, to the knee is usually far enough. The free hand goes up and the hand goes to the knee. What about getting our elbow to the knee? Elbow, 
to the knee. Elbow to the knee. Okay, on the spot again. Now just kick straight out in front. So you're going to do kick, kick, opposite hand to left. Kick, 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 kick. Now what about kicking to the side? So we'll do kick, 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 kick. Make sure you've got your balance each time. And of course, when you're trying to balance, make sure you push your big toe down to the floor. That's the secret of your balance. And rest. Now, hands to here. And I want you to do one, two, push your shoulder blades together at the back, then one, two, and then one, two, one, two. Ready? And one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Again, and one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Back. And one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Back. And one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, back to more. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, last one, and one, two, back, two, one, two, one, two, elbows. Hands by your side, and I want you to stand very, very straight. Pull your tummy in, squeeze your seat, squeeze your legs. You're a tin soldier. Everything's as tight as it can be. Really tight. And relax. And again, tight. Tight thighs, tight legs, tight backside, tight tummy, as tall as you can be. And relax. Now, I know if you're not tight, if your hands are floppy, because the hands have to be tight as well. And again, tin soldier, tight. Really tight, very tall, and relax. And the last one, very tight, very tight. Hold it, don't forget to breathe. And relax. Okay. Put one leg forward in a lunge position and turn the back foot sideways. Both arms out, one forward, one back. Come together, put the other leg forward. Hands up. Come together, other leg forward. Come together, other leg forward. Come together. Now, both feet together and take one leg straight forward, your foot straight forward, so both feet are pointing in the same direction. Before you did the lunge sideways, now both feet are pointing in the same direction. Leave both heels on the floor and bend your front leg. And you should feel the pull of the back of your calf, what we call the Achilles. And you should feel a good stretch if both feet are pointing in the same direction. I can't see, so I'm trusting you to have both feet in the same direction. And you should feel the pull up your Achilles. And back. Now the other leg, both feet together to start off with. Take one foot straight forward. Now bend the front knee. Both heels are on the floor. Feel the stretch up the back of your Achilles. You know, this is very important to keep stretch, particularly as we get off. And back. And the other leg forward. And stretching that Achilles. Really big stretch. And back. And other leg forward. And bend the front leg and really stretch that Achilles. And back. This time, 
We're going to step backwards and bend the back leg and turn our heel up. Can you see my foot? So our feet together, we step back, bend the back leg and turn the heel up. So it's a different stretch. Come together, other leg, step back. Both feet should be facing in the same direction. Bend the back leg and turn the heel up. Come together, other leg, step back, bend the back leg, heel up. Come together, take the leg back, bend the back leg, heel up. And come together. Now I'm going to get the step just to do a few step exercises. If you don't have a step in your house, you can get two, or obviously you don't have a step in front of you, just do the exercises on the floor. <laughs> When you're doing this for the class, you can have different levels of steps. So the run will have to be at this level. So we're just going to do 10 step ups and step down. So if you're on the floor, just do 10 high knee raises. Ready? Off we go. Up, down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven. Down, down, ten, and down. Now we start with the other leg. Ten, down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, eight, down, nine, down. Ten and down. Next exercise is step up, back down. Let's see how it is. Yeah. Up, back down. If you're doing it on the floor, do step up, back two. Step up, back two. If you've got a step, step up, down two. Step up, down two. Step. Now, find your nice clean floor. Uh, wall. Okay, we're up against the wall with our hands on the wall, and we're going to do push ups. And when we do our push ups, it's very important that the feet are away from the wall. So, the feet should be away. Our fingers are up, and we just go in and back. And we're doing We'll just do eight of these for today. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. If people have trouble with their wrists, you can get them to put their forearms on and do it with their forearms. I'll need to come a little closer to do that. Now we're going to turn our fingers in this way. So our fingers are in. The same thing. Forward and back, two and back, three, back, four, back, five, back, six, back, seven, back, eight, and back. The last one we're doing is Y. So we're taking the hands right about the size of a door frame. We're only going to do Four of these. So we go in and back, in and back, in and back, in and back. Now, often after people have done that, especially when they're new, their shoulders will be a bit sore. So you can do some shoulder rotations. 
Get them to shrug the shoulders around. Go the other way. Shrug up. Shrug down. And of course, you can make jokes about shrugging your shoulders as you're going. One up, one down. Now, we need to check shoulder flexibility. Very important. So we're going to stand against the wall with our heels against the wall and stand up very straight. One arm up, one arm down. Now change arms and 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 press. So an extension of that is to take your feet out from the wall. And remember, whenever you're doing anything on the wall where you're bending your knees, the feet must be out from the wall. If the feet are back against the wall, the pressure on the knees, which is one of the weakest points of the body, the pressure on those knees is too great. So we take our feet up to the wall. We're going to slide down the wall. So we're sitting. And rather than sitting and doing nothing with our arms, we're going to bring our elbows together and then take our hands back to the wall. And elbows together and hands back to the wall. And elbows together and hands back to the wall. And elbows together. Hands back to the wall and stand up. And we'll also do that and give this a try. Go down the wall again from the sitting position. And you can do this exercise while we're in that sitting position. And come up. Now, put your hand on the wall. And this is a good exercise again for shoulder flexibility. Leave the hand there and just walk forward as far as you can. Won't be very far. And back. And again, walk forward, leaving the hand there. The hand mustn't slide. The hand stays there. And back. And again, forward. And back. Turn around, do the other hand. So go forward. Forward and back and forward. Now put your hands together like you're praying and push your hands together as hard as you can, really hard. This helps to tighten up the muscles across the top here. So press very hard. Relax. And again, press and relax. And again, press and relax. Hands up. Bend one hand down like a scratch in the back. Then with the other hand, you hold the elbow and push the arm as far down your back as you can. Then, other hand to scratch your back. Grab the elbow and push it down. As far as you can. And up, grab the elbow, push it down to getting a big stretch all through here. It's also helping with our granny arms. Lots of people ask me about how can I get rid of my flabby arms. This is one of the exercises, plus it's good shoulder mobility. Pushing hard. Now, because you won't be moving around you, we can do a deep breathing exercise. So we're going to link our fingers in front, turn them around, push our shoulders out as far as we can, and your hands will go up above your head. You'll look at them, and you take your hands down and come around. So link the fingers, turn them around, push up. Now breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. As you put your hands, hold your breath. And then lean it out. And again, link, turn, push the shoulders out. Breathing in, breathing in, breathing in. Hold your breath at the top. So one more, link, turn, pushing out, pushing out, right to the top. Hold your breath, hold your breath, hold your breath. 
Make your arms shake, make your legs shake. And that's all we've got time to for today. And there's so much more we can do. But next week, when you come prepared, we're going to do free weights. So you have to come with your weights to whatever weight you feel is best. If you don't have weights, the good old can of baked beans will do the trick. And a ball, rhythmic ball if you can get hold of one or one about that size. Because if it's any bigger, you won't be able to do all the exercises. I'm going to do quite a thing, few things next time with arthritic fingers. So you need to have a ball about this size to do that. Okay, so three weights and the, and the rhythmic ball for next time.